welcome to my delecto today we are going to discuss clinical case 3 so let's start first of all if we see the history of the patient that is new nate five days old and the gender is the male so after physical examination what we actually found first is the microcephaly means small head of the new nate second is the jaundice you can check it by the yellowing of the skin and the eye third is the hepatosplenomegaly you can see the enlargement of the liver and the spleen in ultrasound as well and fourth one is the purpura that is the blueberry muffins lesions on the skin due to the internal hemorrhage so that's the most important thing so it's mean that the most important cause of the purpura is the low number of the thrombocytes means platelets that's why you mostly see the purpura due to the low platelets okay and next is the seizures it is sometimes presented to the neonate okay so after physical examination what can i diagnose so basically clinical knowledge should be on your fingertips if you really want to exact diagnosis okay so i think it may be cytomegalovirus or you can say cytomegalic influent disease so basically cytomegalovirus cytomegalovirus or you can say human herpes virus 5 okay it has three categories First category is the cytomegalic inclusion disease. Okay. That disease is mostly seen in the children, or you can say new nate. That's our main point. Why do we call that these symptoms related to the cytomegalovirus because cytomegalic inclusion disease mostly seen in the new net and the patient is actually the new net that's our main point okay next is the uh, that is the mononucleosis mononucleosis okay and that is actually heterophil negative hetero Phil negative that is actually the antibody heterophil antibodies so these are basically heterophil negative but the Epstein bar virus are actually the heterophil positive okay and last is the you can see in the immuno immuno compromised patient okay so basically in the cytomegalic influent disease that is our main focus you will see the symptoms will be the microcephaly small head you can see the seizures you can see the purpura you can see the hepato spleno Magdalene. Okay. These are basically the symptoms that are actually related to the new net. Okay. So, in the cytomegalic influent disease, you will see mostly the congenital abnormality. Congenital abnormality. Okay. So, it means that microcephaly small head of the new net is actually the congenital abnormality okay so these mostly congenital abnormality happens in the first trimester okay basically in the first trimester you will see the mostly congenital abnormalities or those fetus who act who are actually infected by the cytomegalovirus so why first trimester is very much important because in the first trimester you will see the mostly 
organs develop in first trimester. So that's our main focus that is cytomegalic inclusion disease. These symptoms are related to the neonate. Okay. And one, two important hint. First is the neonate. Okay. Second is the, that is congenital abnormality that is microcephaly. Okay. In the mononucleosis, it means that other mononucleosis and the immuno component uh, things excluded from the cytomegalovirus. But the, in the mononucleosis, you will see the fever, okay, or you can see the lethargy, or you can see the abnormal, abnormal lymphocytes, lymphocytes. Okay, in immunocompromised patients uh, like the transplant patients or you can say AIDS patient. So, in these cases, you will see in the transplant patient, you will see the pneumonia. You can see the pharyngitis. You can see the hepatitis. And in the AIDS patient, you will see the colitis, retinitis. So, here are basically the different symptoms that are related to the three different categories of the cytomegalovirus infected people. So, how can we confirm that the really these symptoms related to the cytomegalovirus? So, basically, we can confirm it by the different test that is lab diagnosis. Okay. Most important test is the PCR. Okay, PCR. Basically, cytomegalovirus actually excreted in our different secretions like urine, saliva. So basically, we will do the PCR of the urine, or you can say saliva. Okay, that's why we can easily detect the cytomegalovirus. Okay, another is the culture. That is actually the shell wilds culture in which we actually culture the virus in the cell because viruses do not replicate independently. They require the cells. So actually we replicate or culture the virus in the cell and after that we detect the viruses by the additions of the immunofluorescence means that those antibodies that are actually immunofluorescence that are actually attached to the fluorescence. So, that is why they are called the immunofluorescence that will actually attach to the virus. Okay. And next is the, uh, you can detect the inclusions bodies. Inclusions body in the giant cell or in the biopsies. So basically, when you take the biopsies uh, like uh, colitis, colon biopsy, so in that situation, you will first of all, the most important is the giant cell. You will see the giant cell. Okay. In the giant cell, you will see the nucleus. Okay. And in the nucleus, you will see the owl's shapes in Cluian's bodies. Owls, here are basically the owls shape inclusions body and here is basically the giant cell giant cell or large cell that's why we call it cyto cytomegalo means large cell giant cell so here you will see in the biopsy that are actually um, stain biopsy or you can say that are actually you can add the immunofluorescence as well in the biopsy to detect the inclusions bodies that are actually present in the nucleus that why these are intranuclear uh, bodies or uh, in the giant cell so here is basically the different test that you can do for the cytomegalovirus detection so this is all about the clinical case 3 if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much